selflessness, not pride, but humility, not greed, but patriotism, not faithlessness, but the fear of God. Neither is it hunger for power, nor destructive tendencies and dreams that have made God to make me attain the academic and administrative height of the vice chancellorship in this university. My vision for the Niger Delta University is to make it a first-rate university in Nigeria, where the great achievements of staff and students will be remarkable in Africa and beyond. Under my authority, between last year and now, the university has experienced transformation in diverse ways. We fought against the triumph of guerrilla economy and agnostic capitalism by blocking economic leakages. To combat security challenges, we mounted modern security gadgets on campus to improve the security situation. We have established companies to show up the internally generated revenue to support the university. Management encouraged and sponsored the production of mosquito repellent cream. In plan of our various keys to students, we are also at the forefront of making sure that faculty complexes are built to accommodate faculties, departments, and staff to give identity. Aside from that, many academic programs have been accredited. Gather here to praise God. Let us remember that we have a sacred obligation, mutually and individually, as bureaucrats, scholars, and students to continually defend and uphold the enterprise and dream of the founding fathers of this university. Let me say that as people in need of development, let us employ the power of understanding and creativity to move the university forward. Niger Delta University is an exceptional social, cultural, and academic space for us. It is where the dreams and destinies of the job people, Bayesa State, and the Niger Delta are born and nurtured. It is a compelling institutional engine of the socio-economic and political development of the John Nation. We are stepping into a continuous period of development and economic growth of the university. When dreams grow green and blossom, the heart becomes merry. Life is all about chasing dreams to manifestation, but the glory belongs to God, who allows such pleasant dreams to be transformed into concrete reality. I shall eternally be indebted to those who believe in me and at appropriate times pray for the successes of the university. The Niger Delta University is a green tree growing in the middle of a mighty rock that breaks and divides into two to create space for progress. Let me assure us that the Niger Delta University is an institution built on a solid rock because it is resting on the high and holy pillars of God. Amen. Besides, it is hosted by Golbafos Island, an island believed to have been inhabited by the founder of the Zong Nation many centuries ago. As it is confirmed in history as the dispersal center of the job kingdoms and communities, so as its university come to be the producer of knowledgeable men and women in power to illuminate the future of our states. No mind can destroy it. Amen. It is our collective destiny to protect it. With the cream of dedicated and patriotic staff we have, it will continue to deliver on its mandate. His Excellency, Henry Sidaki Dixon, has undertaken to build the University Senate building that is near completion. And there is the ongoing dualized road construction to link the new site and the old campus, which is also at an advanced stage. These are marvelous construction sites of the Niger Delta University landmarks. We can only thank God and His Excellency for these great developmental strides. Despite the odds, there are also the greener and brighter sides in the evolutionary history of our university. Tertiary Education Trust Fund and the Federal Government Needs Assessment Fund for beautifully dotting the land of the Niger Delta University with 90% 
of administrative, academic buildings, and the provision of internet facilities. Let me pause here a while. We have just signed an MOU that by maybe 20, 20th of this month, the price tariffs, our internet system will no longer be bearing of cable on the ground. We are going satellites. We have signed up MOU. We have affected it. And they will test run it by 20th of this December. And then, what that means is that if they, you will have this data you have been subscribing, you will subscribe from Niger Delta University. We will be part owner of that company. And then you will buy our data. No more glue data, no more MTN data. And it will cover 40 kilometers. That means if you are within Tomia, Basia, and other area, you will still be using MTU data. And the assurance is 99% efficiency. And it is limitless. It is limitless. And that's what we have done. So that we forget about all this Wi-Fi that we got. Our dream is to see that Wi-Fi is available even on the streets. And it will come to pass. Amen. We thank the National and State ASU for making some of this project possible for Niger Delta University. I want to tell us, in 2009, ASU went on national strike. And that gave Niger Delta University 3.5 billion naira. Now, the Faculty of Arts Building, which is the best in the whole of Niger Delta University, was from that fund. The library you see that we are using was from that fund. The current Faculty of Agricultural Building was from that fund. There are two fine twin fantastic hostels at the new side from that particular fund. And then the Faculty of Management Sciences and that of Social Sciences now are from that fund. In fact, nearly, in fact, nearly all the structure you see from that new side is from that fund and needs assessment fund. Why would I be grateful to them? That's why when I see my party chairman here, you know, ask is my party. When I see my party chairman here, I'm always very happy. Because the philosophy is keeping the philosophy of that union. I am confident that the trials, temptations, and difficulties the university is undergoing will inevitably and soon become a team of the past. Now I always tell people, except a witch of corn fall to the ground and die, it abided what? A law. We have passed through everything. Students, crisis, uh, non-teaching crisis, ASU crisis, flood crisis, which one again? No more again. So they have all died. Buried. And what I will say from January, we see them resurrecting. And so there will be no crisis anymore in India. Yeah. God is getting personally involved on our behalf. And we are flying higher and higher. Our gathering here today, in a unique way, as gratified Christians, is to seek powerful supernatural blessings from high heavens to make our supplication work for us the way they should. I am one with all of you. With you, I am a dedicated staff of Niger Delta University. And for you, I am the Vice Chancellor. Let us join hands together to work with God to give this university its prize of place. Let us rejoice and praise the name of our God today. For he has been faithful and benevolent. We have enjoyed the supreme control and unlimited knowledge, firm guidance, tenacity, and wonders. 
ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to state here that the bonds between management and the rest of the university runs deep. And today, they are as robust and as spirited as they have ever been. I am grateful for the faithful crew of university administrators the Port of Destiny has offered me, particularly Professor Dombele Wankasi, the erudite, trustworthy, dedicated and result-oriented Deputy Vice Chancellor. I owe you a lot. How can I forget the understanding contributions of, the, of all other foremost captains of the university? Every Vice Chancellor built their part and I am building on the foundation they have laid for us. So I will never forget them. It is a team intensely loyal to the construction and production of strategic affinity in the union of university workers and the university. Let me also extend my gratitude to students of the Niger Delta University for their contribution to the serene academic environment they create on campus. Within the period of my reign, a few academics and departments and staffs have made this university proud in the areas of winning prestigious awards and doing groundbreaking researches in the Academic Hall of Fame. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us remain obliged to God for the great things He has done for us at the Niger Delta University and the assurance of even countless things will come, and also for his abundant guidance and wisdom throughout the year 2018. I wish you all a merry Christmas and a prosperous new year in the world. God bless you. I hope we know the theme for this celebration. He has made us glad. Can we say together, God has made us glad. God has made us glad. If we are glad to be. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's sit down as we go to the next item. Quickly, quickly. Uh, we ask at the line with its special presentation. But to take us in this period of special presentation. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's time. It's business time. The business of praising God. You have been seated for a minute. Praise God. I believe that everybody is with the program. And as we are going to proceed, we are going to go in line the other in the program. Asu, are you set? Yes. Hallelujah. Drama, why are you still sitting down? Singers, come on, come on, so that you provide them where necessary. As I welcome the Asu Chairman to start his presentation. We'll sing this song. He, I will enter his evil in my heart. I need to recognize the men of God that are seated here. God bless you all. And for everybody that has come to this occasion, God bless you all. You know we are on strike. But it's a strike that must stop us from thanking God. Now before I do what I have to do, a song of thanksgiving, I want to say this. You know I'm running out my tenure as the chairman of the party. Period of service. 
about to engage at different levels on account of this university. And I noticed something. And I think it is important that I mention it all to mention it to everybody. You observe that a lot of our boys and girls who are graduates today wouldn't have earned a university degree without the establishment of Niger Delta University. Is that also? I've also severally recounted at different instances that the programs that are not mounted in this university, like architecture, land survey, quantity survey, name them. There are very few by elements that have graduated from this, these programs over the last couple of years, which is indicative of the fact that this university is a great blessing. God bless His Excellency Chief DSP Alame Seya of Blessed Memory for doing this. But here is what I have to tell you. In all of these interactions, I reached hatred for this university. So much dislike for this university. Even products of this university who have benefited, who have earned various degrees, go out and the things they talk about in this university begin to wonder what is actually going on. Policymakers see this university as an unwanted child that should be killed, that should be thrown away with, as if we don't need it at all, as if it has not added any value to this state. And then I began asking God as a servant of God and praying, what actually is going on? Why are we meeting with so much resistance? Why are we meeting with so much objection? And then we realized through God's intervention, I'm sorry to say it, yes, I'm an academic, but I'm also a servant of God. I realized that this university was sold to witchcraft. And let me say this in very clear terms. The different groups of persons we interrogated on account of this university, we never got one support. Everybody was like, kill NDU. Let them be. What is your problem? Including our own staff. Including our own staff. And so we started praying. Some of you didn't know, but let me say it today. Because by next year's Thanksgiving, I will be standing here as chairman of ASU. When we engaged in the different struggles, most of the nights I didn't sleep. From around 2 a.m., I'll be on my knees until 5 a.m. in the morning, praying, asking God for intervention. My lovely wife would have died in cause of this intervention. The attacks were coming from left, right, and center. And we began to pray, and pray, and pray. I remember my elder, Dr. Gidi, who called me and said, Stanley, pray, oh, peace and gentlemen. So I was very happy when last year we decided to do this. And I said, God is taking over the battle. And God will redeem this university from the market where it was sold, so that this university will become the pride and the glory of all. For this reason, I have cause to thank God. Yesterday at our gathering, we collected a token offering. On the floor of Congress, we collected a token offering to give to God as a sign of appreciation. We've traveled to different parts of this country, sometimes two days on the road, but not one case of armed robbery, not one case of accident for the past eight years. It's been by the mercy of God. And to conclude this, let me say this. They say we're on strike. But what we're fighting for is the good of this university. Because all those who are in authority from the federal to the state level, they have experienced what universities look like abroad because they keep traveling. And yet they don't want to replicate the same model in our own land. And so we we'll begin to demand for it, they see us as troublemakers. Is that normal? It is demonic. And that's why we believe that God will help us. 
On that note, I want to sing two songs to appreciate the mercy and the goodness of God. Don't worry, I will appreciate them. Because this is my last chance, so allow me. When you men of God stand on the group, I'm also a pastor, I know what I'm talking about. You come under the anointing. But now I'm also under the influence. After all, in this university, all for us by secondary school. And so we need to thank God. So those who know how to sing this song, listen, join me, be, grat be grateful in your mind as I sing praise to God Almighty. They sing today. This was our depth and meaning. Listen and be blessed. I know the first one. Oh. Oh, 
of Inanja Delta University. That was the voice of all days and days. And that was the voice of all academics in the university. Somebody shout hallelujah. Without wasting time, I think uh, the next singer. Representative of Sano, are you here? Okay, we are will not waste time. So
singing and presenting songs unto the Lord. We are old fashioned. Praise the Lord. We are old fashioned. So some of the songs we sing, you cannot find them in simple hymns. Praise the Lord. So sometimes when I minister, the choir, the keyboardists, because these days the keyboardists don't go for training, they just press the music. So they can't follow me. But just play something, okay? Praise the Lord. Now, we are so happy here. I'm so excited. When I saw the notice yesterday, I said, Lord, give me a song. Praise the Lord. And uh, I went through my library of songs. And I said, yes, we are, we are rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. I think this is the one period of battle. And we won in all. But there's one part of we need to win that we should not end here. That at the end of the day, we should all find ourselves in heaven. Praise the Lord. And that's why I have a song titled, If You Miss Heaven. Praise the Lord. More than teachers now tell us, hell is not real. And they spoke at the doctrine of an eternal sea. They make life for the future with their hearts cold and dry. But when they miss heaven, they will cry.
in Jesus' name. Amen. Next on our next on line is our Nasu.